Hey, 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 how is everybody tonight on this wonderful Sunday? Well, I say wonderful in the middle of a pandemic, but I don't know about you guys, but is, uh, are, is everybody doing okay? Is everybody okay? Your family, your friends? Um, I know on my side, we're all doing pretty good over here. I'm trying to figure out where the camera is on here. I am doing a different setup again tonight. Yes, I'm doing it yet different again tonight. So when you pop on, let me know you're here. Let me figure out where this camera is since I seem to be looking at the wrong place. See if I can find me over here. So I am Becky Arnetto Carmish, your independent designer with Chalk Couture. And are we ready to have some fun? Who is ready to have some fun and do some chalking? Anybody ready? See if I see me. I've been using, um, been playing around with that switcher program. I think it was called switcher, but I did not know it was a trial program. So I tried to pop on today to get into it and it told me my, um, my trial was over and I'm like, oh, okay. I didn't know I had a trial. <laughs> I guess I know I have a trial now, don't I? Okay, well, tonight we're going to be playing around with a couple of different transfers. We're going to play around with don't stumble over something behind you. That's pretty um, appropriate for now, right? Let's not stumble upon what's happened yesterday. Let's look at today and tomorrow and take each day and be happy and share. Show our love to our family and our friends and stay in the house and all that good stuff. So we're gonna play around with this one first. This is the size, oh my goodness, and I'm backwards. Let me fix that, I'm not used to this now. Not too used to using the other program now. Okay, now it's not backwards, sorry about that. It's what happens when you bounce around between two different um, live programs, I guess. So we're gonna play around with don't stumble over something behind you. So we're gonna do that one first. This is a size A, it's a five by seven, it's $9.99 is retail price. And then we're gonna bounce over and we're gonna plant a garden. Has anybody been doing any planning? Have you guys been planting a garden, planting flowers, working outside in the yard, cutting grass, all that good stuff? Well, we're gonna plant us a garden today. We're gonna to plant us some artichokes, some asparagus, and then some tomatoes. So these are also um, size A transfers, they're five by seven. They're $9.99 each, and we're gonna play around with all three of these, and we're gonna plant a garden when I get done with them tonight. That sound like fun? Who is all about that? So I'm going to put the garden on this big old huge Aiden board. Get him out of the way. But before we do him, we're gonna do the smaller project. We're gonna do this one first. And we're gonna put this on the, um, the white board on the pillar. So this is a white pillar stand. Is that what this guy's called? I've already forgot what he's called. Do, 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 do. White pillar. Board and pillar, it's board and pillar stands. It came back to me. I love this guy, this is so pretty, don't you think? And what's really cool about this is if you're doing your project long ways, it works that way. And if you're not, you just unscrew the little guy in the back and you take him out and then he can go this way. So it doesn't really matter which design you're using and this is a chalkboard, so when you get tired of it, you just erase it. And then you do something else again. And I'm gonna show you just how to do that. Cause we're gonna erase this, even though I love this, this is so pretty, but I didn't wanna break out a brand new chalkboard to show this tonight. So we're just gonna erase it. So this is not your typical chalk guys, look. Okay, it's still there. Did not smudge. I don't think my nails got it anywhere. And look, it's still there. But what's really cool is when you're ready to update your home decor, you can take it off and you can reuse it. So that is what's so stinking great about Chalk Couture. Let me bring you down so you can see what I'm doing. So when you pop on, tell me, hey, let me know you're here. 
If you're new to Chalk Couture and never heard anything about it, put a one in the comments so I can welcome you. So you just saw me try to get this off, right? And it didn't come off. So now I'm just gonna take some handy dandy water in my little spritzer container here. I'm gonna spritz it. Now you can just spritz it and then you can take a disinfectant wipe, a wash rag, a paper towel, whatever you happen to have. And you'd have to scrub it a little bit or a board eraser. Our board erasers are really good. You can use that. But we've got a new little family tool that just came out in February and it's called a paste scraper. Okay, this is a paste scraper. Watch this, watch this. And you just, you're just gonna scrape it away. Do you see that? Did you see that? Oh my goodness, look. That is so much easier than having to do the scrubbing like we used to do, even though it was still pretty cool that you could scrub it and take it off, but that is so much simpler. I've got a little pepper towel here and I'm just gonna pick up all that paste that I scraped off with the paste scraper. Wonderful tool. Now, if you see any shadowing, sometimes you may have a little bit, and I think you can kind of see a little shadow there, right? You can see a little bit of the casting of the shadow that it didn't pull it all off. That's why our great old dandy board erasers come in handy. They're almost like a magic eraser, but these are designed for our chalkboards as well as our transfers. So they're not harsh, there's no harsh chemicals here and it won't mess up your adhesive back or anything. And yeah, mine is well used. So sorry about that. But it's well used, well loved. Okay, so we've got that all clean and we're ready to put another project on here. Oh, I was gonna say, I didn't get my fuzzing cloth, but oh, I do have it. Now, what's really great about our fuzzing cloths is there's two-sided. We've got a terry cloth on one side, which is just like a towel. If you don't happen to have one of these guys, it's just like a towel on one side. On the other side is a microfiber. Microfiber is really good to dry. So I can dry my surface. If you're doing something and then you have an oops moment, you need to clean your transfer and all that good stuff, it makes it really good to have that microfiber. So we are ready to begin. So who is on here? Is anyone talking to me and I'm not seeing my comments? Yes, people are talking to me and I'm not seeing comments. Let me find, what Nelly, let me find my comments. Let me see. Okay, I have bounced them on there now so I can see them. So let me play catch up here. Let me have catch up. Hello, Miss Emily and Miss Deanna and Miss Rhea. Do you use tap water or distilled water? For this, for cleaning it off, you can use any type of water. No big deal on the water. When it comes to spritzing water into your chalk paste for the consistency part of it, you're supposed to use distilled water. Distilled water is supposed to go into your jars. And that's gonna help keep from you getting any mold or anything in your jars is the reason behind that. Okay, so now these, do I have anybody new here that has not ever seen these guys before? These are adhesive back transfers. These guys are silk screen. There's a sticky on the back of it. They're reusable. I can take this same transfer and I can use it eight to 12 times. See, sticky, 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 sticky. So I'm gonna take my fuzzing cloth here and I'm going to fuzz it. I know that feels, that probably sounds very strange, doesn't it? I'm going to fuzz it. I'm going to make it so it's not overly sticky. I'm taking some of that sticky off. And I got a little extra fuzz there. I'm gonna take that extra fuzz off. Trying to see where I've been putting this at. I'm gonna put it this way. Okay. So I'm just going to press it down. Press it down. It's just a big giant sticker. It's all it is. Big giant sticker. Now, when you're putting your big giant sticker, which is what we call a transfer, on, you can put this on whatever surface you want to put this on. Guys, this same transfer, I can put it on a chalkboard. I can put it on wood. I can put it on tin. I can put it on glass. I can put it on a mirror. I can put it on an appliance. I can put it on a t-shirt. This would be really cute on a t-shirt. Wouldn't it be gorgeous on a t-shirt? 
Now, when I'm putting it on different types of surfaces, then I have to bear in mind, is that surface gonna have to be washed? Primarily is the big, big thing. If it has to be washed, like if it was a t-shirt, or if it was a tea towel, or if it was a coffee cup, or something that has to be washed, then you're not gonna be able to use chalk. Because remember, this chalk is water-based. Water-based, non-toxic. It'll come off with water. So when you're washing it, it's gonna come off eventually, right? So then you're gonna have to use ink. We have ink, and that's gonna be semi-permanent semi until you heat set it with either, either an iron, an easy press, or you can bake it if it's, if it's bakeable, and then you have it heat set, and then it's permanent. So that's a little bit of a history about that. So I've been kind of going back and forth on my color that I wanna do this. First, I was gonna do it just white, because you know, you know how I like white and black goes with everything, but I'm like, you know, let's spice this thing up. Let's do some coloring. Let's do some colors. Look at here, fuchsia is in the house. Now look at that. That's kind of thick. You want this the consistency of like cake batter. Does that look cake battery? No, it does not. It looks a little chunky monkey there. So that is too thick. So I'm going to spritz it with some water here. I'm gonna stir it up until I get it the right consistency. You know, when you're making those cookies or making those pancakes, you just put some water in here until you get it to the right consistency, right? If you're making that um, old fashioned biscuits, which I never mastered. Just kinda, I'm gonna make people hungry again because we're talking about food. Talking about food. So I'm just mixing this up. I didn't have time to pre-mix these before I came on. So some of these may be really, really, really hard. So we'll see. So I'm just stirring it up. Now look, see how much thinner this has thickened down or not thickened down, but look, see that? Now that's like cake batter consistency, right? So that looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna play around with three colors because I think I'm gonna do like a little ombre effect. I'm gonna start with fuchsia, then I'm gonna go to this color, which is I think cherry blossom. This is a retired color. And I'm gonna do it in the center. And then I think I'm gonna go to the, this is like a maroon color. This is our shimmer red. It says shimmer red, but it's more of a maroon. And I was bouncing between that and a purple, but I'm thinking I'm gonna try to keep it all in this kind of family because I think this is pretty close. So I'm just gonna do it. Now it looks like this one's gonna be pretty thick too, which I was afraid of this. Okay, I want same thing. Whoops, get to the camera. See, we're thick again. And that's what happens when you don't use your chalk paste consistently, you know. You know, I use those same colors and I haven't been doing any workshops, guys, so nobody's been playing around with the colors. Just gonna put some water in here and we are going to stir it up. Stir that, stir that, stir that. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now, when you leave your caps off of your paste, especially your chalk paste, it's, they're gonna start, my goodness, they're gonna start drying out. Maybe we aren't gonna use this color. <laughs> My goodness, look at that. You see my, look at that. <laughs> that boy was on there good. And this is a shimmer, isn't it? This is not shimmer. That's fine, we'll use it. He's open now. He's open, I'm gonna use it, by golly. Oh, he is like super thick. Not only did I get a workout opening the container, I'm gonna get a workout stirring him. I thought he was a shimmer red, but he's not a shimmer. So this one is current jam. We have him in regular line, and then we have a shimmer red, which they're pretty close. So I thought it was a shimmer red. Oh, you know what? This might be pretty. I forgot I had another. This is peony. What do you think? 
Should I stick with like a maroon color or should I, should we substitute this for peony? Because peony will be keep us more in the pinks. What do you think? What do you think? First person to give me all your muscles, you're funny girl. You're hilarious. So what do you think? Should we go to like the maroon color or should I substitute it for peony? First one to throw me an answer out there. Who's gonna throw me an answer? Oh, Nelly. I'm splattering all this one in the mist. Okay, Nikki says peony. Oh, Nikki beat you, Miss Rhea. So we are gonna go with peony and I'm going to quit stirring this guy up. I was gonna look down here and get that shimmer red out since this isn't the color I thought I had grabbed. And then I saw the peony and I'm like, oh, that would be so pretty with all these pink ribbon. And peony should be nice and pretty because we use it pretty consistently. We've used peony a few times with our Easter products. Easter projects. Projects, products. Okay, look, that's gorgeous. That one's fine. Okay. So we're gonna do the little um, little ombre effect here or a little transitioning from one color to the next color. I'm just gonna grab my squeegee here, just like my big giant paintbrush. And I'm just gonna paint it up top. Now when you're doing different colors, then you wanna kinda like do what I've just done. I've opened them all up, I've stirred them all up. I know that they're, re they're ready to rock and roll because I'm not going to have a whole lot of time to go through all these different colors. So I want to be able to just kind of consistently go boom, 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 because I'm not going to do the peel back method. If you're doing a really big project, you're going to do one section and then peel it back and then do your next section and peel it back so it doesn't dry on you. But this is a five by seven, so we should be able to kind of move around here. Now I'm kind of leaving me some little areas between colors. I don't know if you've noticed that I'm doing that. But I am kind of leaving me some space between the colors because I'm not quite ready for the blend. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take some of my water, I'm gonna spritz it on my finger. So my finger's kind of wet. And then I'm just gonna blend. So I'm gonna blend these first two up here. I'm gonna take another finger and then I'm gonna blend these next two colors. I'm gonna make sure I get all that colored. See where I missed some of that. Okay, I think I got it all. We're playing finger paint, finger paint. Let's see if I can get any excess off. Not really wearing too much of it. Okay, y'all ready? Y'all ready for peel and reveal? I love this part. I love this part. Grab it, work it to the center. Even tension to move it off. You want to pull it from the center. Looks like some of it might have dried some on me. Did it? So I'm not gonna go all the way up. I'm just kind of looking at it to see if it dried on me. So I didn't pull it all the way up. So that gives me some time maybe to kind of do a little doctoring here since I didn't move fast enough. Gonna throw in a little bit more color here. And mostly it's this one right up here cause it was going on pretty thick. It's not as thin as it needs to be. Spritz a little bit of water, see if I can bring it off a little bit there. Okay, let's try for round two. Round two. Okay, I like that better. Okay, off it goes. I'm gonna put it over here in my water bath so I can wash and reuse it. Where, Nelly? 
see if I've got a toothpick up here. Okay, there we go. Don't stumble over something behind you. Got a little crazy with my water. But what the easiest way to fix this is to let it dry and then you can come back with a toothpick and kind of um, scrape off any excess there. That's what happens when you play with that water like I just did. But there you go. It's still stinking cute, don't you think? Put it on our cute little pedestal. that you guys can't see because I got you up in the air. And there you go. Don't stumble over something behind you. Do, do, do. Cute, cute. And so that's the little ombre effect there. Not too bad, not too bad. Not totally perfect. but not something I can't fix. That's easily fixable. So that takes care of that one. So this is a size A transfer. It's called Dots Don't Stumble Over Something Behind You. That's a five by seven, which is um, $9.99. Surprise of the transfer. The actual um, board and pillar stand is $19.99 to get that cute little chalkboard that we put that on. All of that can be found in my online store. Do, do, do. We do have flat rate shipping now, which is awesome. It's six ninety five for your um, for your order. Doesn't matter what size, how heavy it is. So if you were to get you one of those gigantic chalkboards, which are normally very expensive to ship, or used to be very expensive to ship, you now get it for a flat rate. Can't get can't get any better than that. And if you're a chalk, or chalk, if you're a Club Couture member, which is our um, subscription club, you get your shipping for $4.95. So that's even a better deal. So our Club Couture is um, our subscription program. It's $19.99 per month. You get an exclusive transfer. You get three pay singles in the mail once a month. So that's exclusive transfer, three pay singles, and then you get incredible discounts and deals every month. So that's our club. If you want more information on that, then throw it in the comment below, and I'd love to tell you more information. Let's find that big old giant gorgeous chalkboard. So this one is called an Aiden. I love this chalkboard. Look at these wide frames. It's got the distressed look to it. This is, um, I think this one's a nine by 12. Believe it, no, it's bigger than nine by 12. This one's bigger than that. Let me bounce over and get the sizes. Now the nine by 12, I think I had down here, I was thinking about doing a different project on it. Surfaces, our webpage is so stinking user friendly here that you can pop on and take a quick look. We do have reduced prices on some of our surfaces, which I told you the, um, the other day, Wednesday, did we talk about that Wednesday? Our reclaimed drawer front has now been reduced. It's a lower price. We've got burlap boards that's, um, a 12 by 18 and an 18 by 24. The 18 by 24 is out of stock right now. And we got reclaimed diagonal pallet board. Those have all reduced in prices from what they used to be. If you're a club member, you get all kind of banners at a reduced cost. Um, the pillowcases are at a reduced cost. Um, this is must be this one that's out of stock. This is a 12 by 18. 12 by 18, which is currently out of stock. Okay, let's bring you down again. Bring you down. This one's gonna be kind of hard doing sideways. I don't know if I could do it this way. 
Now what's really cool about our premium chalkboards, which would be the Aiden chalkboard, um, is, it, is it's magnetic. So you can put like a magnet on it and it stays. So that's what's really cool about the Aidens. So this is called an Aiden chalkboard. I'm trying to get it so you can see what we're doing. Okay, and we're gonna be planting the garden. Planting the garden. So we're gonna be doing some artichoke, some asparagus, and then some tomatoes. I'm gonna to put the tomatoes in the middle. I think we'll put this one over here since the writing's on the side. Figuring out what I want to do here. Hmm. Oh, I don't want the writing like that. So I think I'm gonna stick this way. It's gonna stick this way. Now, so we're planting our garden on the bottom, like so. And then what's really cool about all of our transfers is you can mix and match, okay? I knew I wanted to plant a garden here, but I knew I was gonna have some empty space up here. And I'm like, what can I put up here? So I went and I looked through my transfers and I looked through what we have. It was called the Vintage truck add-ons and we had like a spring and Easter add-on, we had a summer add-on, we had a fall add-on, we have a Christmas add-on, all for this vintage truck. And I found this one, Fresh Local Produce. This one came out of the, um, the fall one. The fall is where I got this guy out of. And then I'm gonna pin him up here. So see how you can mix and match with your transfers to make it your own? just like that and that'll be like super cool don't you think so that's what i'm doing that's what i was doing so all of these small ones are a size a they're five by seven they're 9.99 each That's your favorite part too? I know, my favorite part. I love to be able to erase and reuse. Has just changed my whole outlook on life. So we're going to fuzz this up. Yeah, my last house, we didn't have a whole lot of storage. So I didn't have a lot of storage. And so I never really had a lot of space to put like your Christmas and Halloween and all your extra decor that you had. And then you had to like figure out where you could put it, and where you could cram it at and underneath beds and in closets and in the attics. And, and we had to have a little outbuilding. I mean, it's just everywhere. So that was always so hard to figure out where to store everything. So when I came across Chalk Couture and how you can just erase things and reuse it, it has made my life so much simpler, guys. So much simpler to not have to do that anymore. So do I wanna put them all down or do one at a time? Hmm, decisions, decisions. taking these and I am fuzzing them. Remember, I don't want them overly sticky, so I'm gonna fuzz them a couple of times just to loosen them up. So did you guys see the post that I put out of what our April Club Couture transfer is? Remember, that's an exclusive transfer just for the club members. I probably wanna do that one last because I gotta get it centered. Let's do this other one first. So it is that stinking cute vintage um, typewriter. Did y'all see that? Oh my goodness. I really should have done it tonight because I just got it in the mail. It came yesterday in the mail. Cute, 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 cute vintage typewriter. 
So that is April's Club Couture transfer, exclusive transfer, guys. So if that thing is something that you guys have got to have, um, you can jump over to the um, to my website. At the very top, it has a little link that says Club Couture. You would um, enroll, subscribe into that. You're gonna have to commit to at least three months at $19.99 per month. And then this transfer is April's transfer. So you, if you were signing up, let's just say you signed up today or one day this month, your membership starts next month. So you would get whatever the transfer is for next month, but you can order the prior month's transfer. So if, like I said, if it's something that you've gotta, gotta have and you just love it, love it, love it, then you can add that to your cart and then you'll get the typewriter as well. And he's just not wanting to go down straight. He's not wanting to go down straight. Okay, I think I like it now. So now let's go back and try to center this tomato here in the center. Yeah, Bria, it is super cute. Super cute. I'm using the bottom of this chalkboard to kind of line me up is what I'm trying to do. So the bottom is my guide. I was thinking about putting like some tape on here so I'd have an idea of where the top of it was so I could line these guys up so that they were in the same place. And then I'm like, no, well, I can just line it up in the bottom. Okay, I think I'm happy now. I have planted my garden. Boy. I've got a group text going there, a group thread going on, and they are just burning that thread up. Can y'all hear all those little text messages coming in? They are going crazy, 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 crazy. Trying to decide my color palette here. Trying to figure out my color in here. So we're gonna use lots of different greens. So this is a little jar of green. So this is an old color. Cause you know me, I'm gonna use all of these until they're all gone. I'm gonna get my money's worth. Our typical um, jars are three ounces. Now this is like a two ounce jar here. So this one's a little smaller, but our three ounce jars of paste are $12.99 each. And let's just say you're wanting to do one of these projects and you're needing a lot of different colors and yet you don't want to spend $12.99 a jar because you know that put anybody in a poor house. You can send me a message. Um, I have little paste singles. They're little small singles. I'm sure you guys have seen me with them before. Um, those I've got, I've, I don't have one in every color but I've got some colors, so you just have to send me a message on what you're kind of thinking and what you're needing, and those pay singles are $2 each. I do have a paste, I do have a paste, I do have a post up somewhere showing you the colors I've got. I might have to clean me out some squeegees because I think I'm gonna need some. So let's see, what's gonna be our share word tonight? We do um, a share game. If you share this over on your timeline, 
You can come back and share all my lives once per day, the ones from the week anyway. And then on Monday nights at six o'clock, my contest ends. So every Monday at 6 p.m., my contest ends from the week. If I have at least 10 shares from the week, then I do a drawing. So we're gonna do the darker green down here at the bottom. So I, let's see, we were working on a share word and then I got sidetracked. Let's say planting. Planting is our share word. So share this over on your timeline. Come back and put hashtag planting is our share word. Planting, we're planting a garden. You can do that once per day, like I said. Now those that start on Wednesday has Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday, so you get lots of entries on that one. For tonight, you only have today and tomorrow where you can share this particular one. But if you do that once per day, then you get you some entries. Okay, now I've done the same thing that we did a while ago, except I didn't put as much water on my finger, so maybe it doesn't smear quite as bad as that last one did. Okay, and then I just kind of rubbed it together to do that ombre. And then I'm going to gently pull this on both sides. Okay, he goes into my water bath. And there's my asparagus. And then, let's see, I've got stuff up here at the top. On the tomato, I've got the candy apple red, which is the red, the typical red. Oh man, my light went out, didn't it? My light went out. I'm sorry. We just had asparagus for supper. Oh, that sounds yummy. Okay, so for the um, tomato, I've got candy apple red, and then I've got, this is like a red orange, which is like a, I'm sure it's a retired color now, but I thought that red orange would be pretty good for this. Not much of a difference, but what do you think? First one that tells me which one's gonna be, we're gonna do that for the tomato. Should I do just the red or do, should I do the red orange? Which one? I wonder if I have another light around here anywhere. Doubtful. You guys can still see pretty good, right? I got me one of those little rings and I had it up there, but it looks like it needed to be charged. Okay, Rhea said red orange. And you know, I was kind of thinking that would be really pretty for that tomato. And see, you do too. So we're gonna use, we're not gonna use that one. We're gonna use this one. This is a red, I've been, this is a red. This is a green I've been trying to get rid of for a while. So this one is just called emerald. So emerald is a retired color. So I'm gonna use him for the top. And then we're gonna do, let's look at this red orange. Maybe I should have looked at it before I opened up my mouth because it has not been used in a long time. We might not be using that. Let's see. He is like so Super dry, guys, super dry. I don't know, can you see how dry he is? Look, he is like super, super, super duper dry. See how dry he is? He may take a while to come back to life. I can get him back to life. Um, some of my people that are watching me all the time, we have numerous colors that are just like this and I just put that water in there and then I just have to let it sit and periodically open it up and spritz more water in it. And sometimes it's like a multi-day kind of process because it's easier if you just let it kind of sit and kind of soak up that water. Now 
And there's a few of these jars. I'm gonna have to come back and get all this color off these lids. I know you can't see me, I'm over there staring at it. But I like to come back and clean the rims of these jars. And then I put these in here and then they end up giving me what I call my chalk boogers because then I end up with all that dry stuff. You have to like press it and get it all mixed in. Press, 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 press. Okay, so while that's kind of soaking up some water, let me look at the red. Let's see what the red looks like. That's how dry yours was, too. So you know all about having to add water to it, huh? Don't you, Emily? That's what's kind of nice, though, is you just add water and you can bring it back to life. Okay, the red is a little dry, too. Not near as dry as that red orange. Even though that red orange would be really pretty. It would be really pretty, but I think it's going to take too long to bring it to life. So we may have to switch gears to just the candy apple red. So I'm kind of stirring up my paste, making sure it's the right consistency before I start because I'm going to do the two different colors here. So I don't want to be like having my paste on my, um, on my transfer and then me having to stir, stir, stir and it dry. So that's why you always want to do this first. Okay, so I'm liking that. So sorry, Rhea, we're gonna have to do red. We're gonna have to do this red. Not because I didn't want to. Okay, let's take this squeegee. Should have cleaned this first. I'm still gonna have this green left. I'm never gonna get done with this green. And there's my chalk boogers. Ooh, I dragged some of that red up too, it looks like. More of the red. Now, I did not go back and squeegee off this red. I don't know if y'all noticed that or not because that keeps it wet longer while I'm working on the other color. And then I can come back and drag that excess off. Come here. into my water bath. Okay, and now we have the tomatoes. Off some squeegees here. Okay, 
Oh wow, I'm seriously wearing that green. Look, look at my fingers. Okay, let's close up some of these jars. Okay, he's coming back to life here. Remember, this is the one that was like really, really, really thick. Okay, see, he's he's getting it's getting more to it. It's not there yet, so we'd still be waiting on him. Okay, let's get it so you can see this last one. This last one we're gonna use, um, this is Rainforest. This is a fairly new color, so he should be the best one yet. Now we're going to put this phone on vibrate, on silence. I'm tired of hearing it vibrate. water in here, stirring them up. Okay, for this one, I think I'm going to use, I think I'm going to kind of do like a hot mess kind of look on this last one. This last one's going to be like a hot mess. Who knows what a hot mess is? Who knows what a hot mess is? Okay, let's see. Which one do I want to use for my hot mess? I think these two would be pretty. So our share word today is, what was my share word, guys? Is it planting? It's bad when I don't even know. Let's see. Come on, wakey, wakey. Comments. I can't see all my comments. Lots of colors mixed together. Yes, ma'am. That is what a hot mess is. So, Ms. Rhea, what did I say our share word is tonight? Did I say it was... Planted, planted's our share word. Okay, if you'd like to share this onto your timeline, come back and put hashtag planted and you get an entry into um, my weekly drawing. Oh, you can't see what I'm doing. I got this guy in the way. So I'm just throwing in and I don't know, I may end up putting some lime in here too, just because. Y'all hear my dog whining. Y'all hear my dog whining. I think I might throw in a little bit of this lime just because it's gonna liven it up just a wee bit. Now, when you do a hot mess, you don't want to use a whole lot of color on here because you're you're wasting it and it's not gonna be able to go back into your jar. So this is kind of like a done deal. So just FYI for you. Okay, so let's see. Start off with a clean squeegee. Where's my paper towel? 
Because when you do a hot mess, sometimes you want to take your paper towel and just kind of clean your transfer a little bit as you go because you, you're wanting all that different colors. And if you don't, then it's just going to end up getting all mottled together. same time I also have to make sure my transfer is covered hush almost want a little bit more lime to break that up a little bit. So we just making us a hot mess. Are we not making us a hot mess here? I'm just going back and making sure that I've got everything covered here. Just wanna be mindful what all I'm doing because I don't wanna Put another color over another color. So I want all that variations of color there. Okay. Okay, y'all see what that looks like thus far? Whoops, I think I missed a part right up here at the top. Okay, let's take a look at the hot mess. Okay, into my water bath. So this is what I've got so far. I'm trying to get him so you can see him. Can you see him? So this is the way the garden's looking thus far. I know when you have a big old chalkboard here. It's a little hard to get it in here so you guys can see. Okay, now we've got our fresh local produce. I'm going to put it up here at the top. And I was gonna do it in like a yellow color, but I think I'm gonna do it in that lime color just cause I've got the lime throughout this. Just to tie all those greens together. Do you need to go out and potty? Give me just a minute, I'm almost done. Almost done. So I decided to go with the lime. So if you've been thinking about doing this for like a business or a side hustle, now is a good time to do it because we have what's called a triple treat. You actually have the ability for the month of April, you join in April, you have the ability to actually get your money back on the starter kit. Starter kit is $99 plus tax and shipping. And you get the option of getting your $99 back in cash, guys. Super, super. I have never, ever, ever, ever have I ever saw that before. Okay, let's pull this back. That's such a pretty color. Such a pretty color. Okay, into my water bath. Get off my finger. Me and my green fingers. I have green fingers. I'm like the jolly green giant now. 
Okay, let's see if I can pull this up so you can actually see it. Okay, fresh local produce. Look at that. Isn't that stinking cute? I think my, what would have been cuter is if I had brought those up a little higher so I wouldn't have so much dead space at the top. But other than that, I am pretty happy with that. What do you guys think? You like the garden we planted today? Fresh local produce. Now, you know, I used the three separate little transfers, put them together to make me a little garden. And then I grabbed another transfer out of another um, kit. Because remember, this one came out of our vintage truck. Um, fall add-on is where this one came out of. It's got a lot of cute stuff in that one. And then I put it together and made this cute thing and made it my own. Put it on the, um, the Aiden frame here, which is super wonderful frame. Very, very pretty. And made this cute little, little garden piece. So, I hope you guys had fun. And we started off tonight's live making our small project over here. Don't stumble over something behind you. So this one is with our um, board and pillar stand, which I love. Love this little guy. Let me get the little chalk paste off the side of here. There, I fixed him. So we started off with him and then, you know, remember that this little guy, you can move him both vertical or horizontal. So if you're having to have, you know, or you get this and then you decide to change it for another um, transfer at some point in time, because you know, you can do that. That's what's super cool about all this is it's totally flexible to change out to do what you need it to do. You can go that way, get it centered, which I'm doing not very good here backwards okay so he'll go that way but for for this particular one we done tonight he goes this way and there we go so I will throw in the comments what I used on all of these tonight in case you'd like to go over to my online store and grab any and all of this now these you could actually put these on our little um box so you can put these on the box frames like we did when we done the bathroom ones the last time we were doing this these would look really cute on those box frames it would be, look really cute on the pallet boards separately you, know, you can have three of them going vertically up on your wall super super cute and then um, I was going to say something what is it the board and base It'd be really cute on the board and base but anyway I hope you guys have a wonderful night you guys wash your hands stay safe Stay home, and I will talk to you guys, well, if I have at least 10, which I think we're pretty close to 10, I'll see you guys tomorrow night at 7 o'clock for our drawing. So, y'all take care. Bye.